Kelly, hello! I'm Refashionista Sherry, and today I'm gonna show you how to transform one, two, three, four delightful dude shirts into an awesome patchwork dress. But before we jump into the DIY, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see, if you have specific tutorials and DIYs, refashions you're interested in, or whatever the heck else you'd like me to create for you, let me know. Plus, of course, throw a like, subscribe, and share with your online circles. And let's get everyone living a more rockin' refashionista lifestyle. Now let's get making. <laughs> for this totally adorable project, all you need are a few button-down shirts and your sewing gear. Next, you need to decide which one of your shirts you want to use for the top of your groovy patchwork dress. And I needed some help with this because I really couldn't decide. I mean, they're all awesome. I was definitely partial to the paisley and the vintage floral. So I put a poll on my community tab and you guys absolutely wholeheartedly agreed with me. And so I'm going to be going with la la the vintage floral that, um, yeah, we all, we all kind of agreed on, but your voting definitely pushed me over the edge to for sure go with this one. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm actually going to need all three of these to make the skirt of my dress. So I think for now I'm going to set aside the paisley one because if I don't need it, I don't want to cut into it because I can use it for another awesome project that I have in mind. Okay, so we are now totally stepping outside of my comfort zone once again and doing something I have literally never done before to create the skirt here. Now, I did once again ask for your advice on my community tab and um, yeah, you guys really chose the one that I've never done before. So I did ask, should I do the tiered type of patchwork skirt, which I mean, Come on, I, I did do it before, and I guess that would be kind of cheating. Um, I shall link the tutorial for that one down below for you guys, though. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to try to do those kind of triangle panels and make a, a patchwork circle skirt to go on the bottom of our dress. And um, yeah, so let's just give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so first I thought, hey, I'm just gonna lay one shirt on top of the other and then cut out my triangular panels and I'll have it all cut out in one quick chop. But um, yeah, these shirts are not at all the same size, so I'm going to do them individually. So I've laid my bigger shirt out flat on the floor and I'm just gonna go ahead and chop out a triangle from each side and that should then give me four triangles from each shirt and I just noticed this one actually has a pocket here that's really hard to see because it blends in so well so that's going to be really cool if I can manage to salvage that and keep it as a pocket. Okay so I chopped out my kind of triangle-ish pieces. I mean, again, nothing has to be perfect at this point. I'm just in the figuring out stages, but it seems to be okay so far. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other shirt. Then I put all of my triangle-ish pieces on top of one another and chopped them so they were all the same length. So I've laid all of these out and um, it would appear that I actually do need the other, <laughs> the other shirt. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't need it, but hey, more patterns work is always better. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Uh, yeah, so today apparently we have some road construction going on outside of our house and um, so I'm gonna see if I can get through this and uh, if not then I'm just gonna film and do a voiceover later. <laughs> okay, this looks much better now and now I'm just gonna go stitch them all together with right sides facing of course and um, yeah hopefully I'm gonna get it right and not mess up my pattern that I have going here stripes plaid paisley <laughs> um look at this it actually this was so successful I don't even I don't even know I really wasn't sure if it was gonna work but it totally did so 
once I had them all stitched together and as I was stitching I then took the time after I put each one on and I did chop the stitched edge here with my pinking shears just to help prevent fraying because I don't have a fancy serger and once I had the very last one stitched on I did of course stitch the open ends together to create my skirt and I also did go ahead and hem up the bottom so now we can go start working on the dress and putting it together yay uh, so as you can see i now have my top shirt on and i have my skirt and looking at this now um i really think i need to take this in because it is kind of huge so i shall do that in a moment but first i just really and there's the jackhammering Yay. Uh, I just really want to measure here to see where do I want my skirt to be and I think right about there is perfect. So oh, just grab a pin and pop it in there just to give it a basic marking. There we go. And um, yeah, now I'm just going to trim this to size and then I'm going to take it in. So yeah, let's go do that. But first, stay golden. So before I take in the sides of the shirt a little bit, I am going to trim it to my desired length. So now I have my shirt inside out and I have it folded in half pretty evenly with the shoulder seams and these sleeve armhole seams lined up. And I'm just going to chop off the sleeves. Doesn't have to be perfect at all at this point. Okay, so I have my sleeves cut off, I have it chopped to the length I want it to be, and I have grabbed a shirt that kind of has my ideal width to it, and this shirt actually is part of a set, and I did share it, so I'll link that down below. It was quite an amazing vintage score. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to line up the collars here and line up the shoulder area as well and then i'm just let's see how wide do i want this all right now all i have to do is pop a little pin in here like so and then i'm just going to stitch straight down from my pin mark and then i'll go repeat the process on the other side of my shirt now, once you have both sides stitched, go ahead and try it on inside out to make sure that it is the fit that you want it to be. If everything is okay, then you can go ahead and remove that excess fabric. So now I have my shirt right side out and I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the sleeves yet. So let's move on to the skirt part and of course, I'm going to do what I always do. Oh, right. So first, before doing anything, I did even up this edge, the top edge of my skirt. I just folded it in half and chopped it evenly because it wasn't super even. And now I'm just going to flip it inside out and put it over top of my right side out shirt and then that way when it all flips down everything will be with the right sides facing. So as it turns out uh, my top and my skirt actually line up pretty perfectly together so I actually don't need to do any gathering or pin tucks or anything like that. If you do need to though, I shall link below to two tutorials, one that shows you how to gather your fabric together and one that shows you how to do the pin tucks just in case you do need to make your, make your pieces fit better together. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go stitch them, stitch them together. Now, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the sleeves and I tried a couple of different things, but in the end, I just ended up chopping a couple of the leftover sleeves to size and stitching them back on. So now let's go try it on and style it up. This one is just too adorable. I mean, seriously, it is. It is sickeningly saccharine sweet 
adorable, full of sugar and fructose syrup for sure. Um, but that being said, it does match very, very well with my awesome dyed summer hat. <laughs> and let me know, let me know what you think. Do you think I can, uh, you know, have this bag with it? Or is the bag too dark? I'm not, I'm not sure. Let me know. Let me know what you think because I really love my awesome vintage bag so much. And it's a hard, a hard thing to find things to go with this. But I thought the blue and the blue, yeah, they kind of, they kind of go together. They kind of go together. Um, alternatively, instead of, instead of wearing this kind of as is and trying to style it for daily wear, you know, you know what season we're in right now? We're in, we're in autumn. And what's in autumn? Halloween, of course. So I think this would make an absolutely adorable doll costume. And um, look, this is the Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy from my childhood. And they are truly, truly, truly vintage because I inherited them from an elderly relative and I love them so much. So I'm gonna use these guys as inspiration once again and um, this dress and put together a adorable little DIY doll costume. And I shall link down below to my upcycled yarn wig so you guys can actually make one for yourself make one of these dresses upcycle a yarn wig chuck on some really easy makeup and and you're laughing you're headed out and ready to go as an adorable raggedy ann or andy because i have both versions over on my site and um yeah i actually took some time for you guys so i'm just snuggling with my dolls here <laughs> I took some time and I made some seasonal playlists on my channel for you guys. So we have fall, winter, spring, and summer, and all the tutorials that I think go nicely in those, in those seasons, you know, so you can upcycle your sweaters for winter and lots of other fun stuff is there. So check it out. It's on my channel. And, um, I guess, yeah, stay tuned because uh, next week I got another funky tutorial coming right at you. And um, of course, it is going to have another bit of uh, costumey inspiration at the end of it for you as well. And so until then, <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> This is Confessions of a Refashionista.